everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on Newton's second law of motion. So here is the problem which reads, a car moving at a speed of 72 kilometers per hour is brought to rest while covering a distance of 200 meters. If the mass of the car is 400 kg, find the retarding force on the car and the time taken by the car to stop. So here there is a car which is moving with a speed of 72 kilometers per hour and uh, it has covered 200 meters before stopping. Now the mass of the car is 400 kgs. We need to find what is the retarding force uh, which has acted onto the car due to which it has come to a stop and the time that the car has taken to come to the stop. Okay, so first of all, let us list out whatever the, uh, the question has given us, that is the information about the car. Let us list them out first. So it is given that the initial velocity of the car is 72 kilometers per hour as per the question. The distance covered by the car before stopping or uh, the distance what, which uh, we call as the stopping distance of the car is 200 meters and the mass of the car is given to be 400 kilograms. Now the car has eventually come to a stop, it has come to a rest. So uh, its final velocity we can take it as 0 meters per second. The final velocity of the car equals 0 meters per second. Now this is the first step in solving a problem with physics. That is to list out everything that every information that has been provided by the question. So the second step that we need to follow is to see if there are any conversions required. For example, uh, this initial velocity of the car is given in terms of kilometers per hour, which is not in SI unit. So we need to get it converted first to SI unit and then proceed to solve a problem. So first we will be converting this 72 kilometers per hour into meters per second, which is the SI unit for velocity. And rest of the things are given in SI units already because the distance is given in terms of meters, which is in SI. The mass of the car is given in terms of kilograms, which is again in SI. So let us convert this initial velocity from kilometers per hour to meters per second. So one kilometers per hour equals five by 18 meters per second. Now 72 kilometers per hour will be equal to 72 into five by 18, which equals 20 meters per second. So our initial velocity is found to be 20 meters per second. Now we can solve this problem since we have already uh, converted this from non-SI to SI unit. So let's do that. Now we need to find the acceleration in order to find the force. So first of all, we'll find the acceleration by using the third equation of motion that is V squared minus U squared is equals to 2as. We already have the final velocity, the initial velocity and the distance that the car has traveled before stopping. So we can put all these three values here and we can find this unknown quantity uh, from this expression here. So on putting the values we have 0 squared minus 20 squared equals 2 into a into 200. 200, is the 200 meters is the distance that the car has traveled before coming to a stop. So here, minus 400 is equal to 400 into A. So acceleration is found to be minus 1 meters per second squared. Now here the acceleration is found to be negative. What does that mean? Anything which is negative means that uh, that particular physical quantity is acting in the opposite direction of motion. For example, here the acceleration is found to be negative that is minus 1 meters per second squared. This essentially means that the acceleration is acting in the opposite direction to the motion of the car. And that is the reason why the car has come to a stop. And this kind of acceleration as we have already discussed that it is called retardation or deceleration. Now since we have calculated the acceleration from the third equation of motion, we can go ahead and uh, calculate the force that is the retarding force that has stopped the car eventually. So the formula for force from the second law of motion is F equals m into a. 
that is force equals mass into acceleration as we have read before so here force equal to 400 into minus 1 meters per second square so this gives force equals minus 400 newton now force is again uh, negative here and this essentially means that this force that is the retarding force acts in a direction opposite to the motion of the car so this is what we have found the retarding force that is acting on a car and it has brought the car to a stop we have found the value of that force to be minus 400 newton so i hope this problem the solution of this problem was fully understandable to you thanks for watching tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning